ngin up ya ka ai ka rai jong ka national coordination committee bat kumbang ngas go tho ba lada ka ne ka bel ka pas ngim ban se ngi hap ban straight bat ban si swa mi pat ba ki nong tre jong ka meecl ban persia e ka sarkar pedeng ka bawan ra ha parliament ya ka electricity amendment bill ar hajar ar pu ar na ka ban ta ban pen bet mai ya ka electricity act ar hajar lai Kajing mi pat ba ki nong trei ke M E C L H K P R A T R E K N A I L A R A R H J A R A R P U A R harun kat lang ki nong trei jong ke tenat sam boarding H K R I I N D I A B A R O K K O I ki nong trei jong ke Meghalaya Energy Corporation Limited H B A R O K O I ke jela ke la pelong da ke jing sangye trei kam ke ba kat tu kat ni kenta H Meghalaya ru la pelong ya ke ni ke jing ki da ke bara lang ni ki plakat ki badan ba ke jing thok ba ke sorkar ke deh ban om pentrei kam no ya ke electricity amendment bill ke bala long ha khamat ke office strei kam jong ke Meghalaya Energy Corporation Limited na khot pelong da ke coordination committee of registered MEECL association and unions na ke ban ta ban persha ek jing wan ra ek ni ke bill ha pua ke parliament Na bakan kita ia ketenat sam boarding, ia kipat ba nong tang boarding, ia kini nong terai jong ketenat sam boarding, bat ia kini engineers. Kini kejeng ia kini jom kini nong terai ketenat sam boarding hakari India baru kawai, kalong namar ba kesuar karpedeng house nem arajar arkway, kalong menjur ling ba kejeng to balap hak syaka United Kisan Morcha, haka kendai terik. Ubenai nok pra arjar arpoi baya ke electricity amendment bill enam rak setia parlimen klaim daya merging buat cua buat kinong terai kikin hon berpair berpair kentup ru ya kinong rap. The central government without consulting any of the stakeholders and in spite of giving assurances in writing to the farmers union it has gone ahead of introducing the bill in the parliament and passing it without any concern for the feelings of the employees of power sector, the engineers and the families at the same time. Friends, today we are gathering here to demonstrate, to raise our voice against this undemocratic move of the central government in consonant with the move that has been called by the National Coordination Committee of Electricity Employees and Engineers. Karmao being a chapter of the NCO Tripoli, we are bound to go hand in hand with the rest of the country. Let me tell you as of now, the discussion on the bill is going on in the parliament. And I'm told that all 25 lakhs employees across the country are demonstrating against this. All of us understand that small state like us, which reels under financial constraint, this is directly going to affect the state and also the consumers. Now, one of the one of the features, which is very, very detrimental also, is that harsh penalties will also be imposed for non-compliance of renewable energy purchase obligation. There is a concept of multiple distribution companies, which will coexist along with the existing utility. In other words, some private companies will come in, in Shillong or they will cherry pick in our profit centers and we cannot deny them the access. MECL will have to supply energy and coexist with these companies. From time to time, for the last five years, this bill has seen many amendments. We have demonstrated against the bill once in 2000 in 2020. Thereafter, there was a lull. Suddenly, just two days ago, the bill was released by the central government. Even though the bill doesn't figure in the list of bills to be introduced in the monsoon session, the central government has gone ahead. Com distribution companies like our organization will have to purchase power, renewable power, 
from the private parties. We know big, big names that I know in the country which operates in this sector. I have known of this Adani Green. I have heard of this Urja Global. I have heard of this Orion Green. And just recently, even Ambani also have joined the bandwagon for renewable energy. So you can understand the interest of the private parties in this. So indirectly or directly, that this bill is going to benefit the private sectors. Now, what is most disturbing is the fact that this bill is going to usurp the power of the state. And most importantly, my brother and sister, we don't know, there is no mention whatsoever what will happen to the electricity employees of the nation. There's about 27 lakhs and their families. Therefore, to my view, the government did not bother to explain all these facts. And that's why it is a detrimental bill which we must oppose to the end. And I say this bill must be referred to a standing committee. Let the parliamentary standing committee study it. And important stakeholders like the unions and associations of the electricity employees and engineers be a part of the process. utility Arfusa, Arfusan, Ban Ongbas 